it wouldn't be fair to run through a bunch of scam common skin diseases without discussing this disease. This is a kind of a confusing disease after many, many, many years. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. We know it's related to a lot of things. Uh, and usually when there's a disease that nobody knows that ca what causes it, uh, often somebody can, quotes, prove, close quotes, that it's autoimmune. This disease is called erythema multiforme. Notice we have an intact epidermis. We have a stratum corneum. We have a, uh, in this case, uh, a um, reticular dermis. Notice how the proximal or papillary dermis, however, is very, very, very loose, edematous, has a lot of blood vessels. So that's why it might look erythematous because you have a lot of these uh, blood vessels dilated uh, near the surface of the epidermis. And this is uh, one of the many classical histologic appearances of erythema multiforme. A clinical appearance would be an erythematous lesion that has a variety of forms, could be anywhere. Here's a nice picture of it on the back. It's a multiform and it's erythematous and we know why it's erythematous and we know why it's multiforme because it has a variety of forms in a variety of places. The thing is, we just don't know what causes it. Here is a list of things it is associated with and I hope uh, I can, uh, my power snap off of uh, Wikipedia comes out nicely. Uh, related to a lot of drugs like phenytoin, barbiturates, penicillin, allopurinol, a host of other internal ailments and, and viruses, uh, the most notorious of which is uh, herpes, and some bacteria like mycoplasma. Nobody knows the ultimate underlying cause. Um, a lot of autoimmune deposits are found here. Um, we know a lot of things that's related to and this is erythema multiforme, and I thank you.